How many times have you found yourself endlessly scrolling through social media, envying the seemingly perfect lives of others? And how many times have you had the distinct impression that your life was passing by unnoticed and insignificant? And again, how many times have you doubted yourself, comparing yourself with others and feeling inadequate? We live in an age where we are constantly bombarded with images of success, beauty, and happiness, which often make us feel small and dissatisfied. But true happiness does not lie in comparison with others, but in the discovery and acceptance of ourselves. If you learn to concentrate silently on yourself and not on others, your life will change radically and you will find inner peace. In this Zen story, set in the heart of feudal Japan, we will follow the journey of Hiroshi, a young monk tormented by envy and the desire to be like others. Through his struggles and discoveries, we will learn the importance of focusing on ourselves, cultivating our inner peace, and living in the present moment. So prepare to immerse yourself in a tale full of wisdom and profound teachings. A story that will guide you towards greater self-awareness and will offer you valuable insights for your personal and spiritual growth. And stay until the end, because you will discover the seven precise reasons why it is essential that you learn to focus on yourself and not on others. But before continuing, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to stay updated when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. In an era marked by wars and unrest, in the heart of feudal Japan, there stood an ancient Zen monastery, a refuge of peace and serenity nestled among the majestic mountains. Among the monks who lived in the monastery, a young man named Hiroshi stood out for his dedication and his ardent desire to achieve enlightenment. Hiroshi was a diligent disciple who spent long hours in meditation and fervently studying the teachings of Buddha. However, despite his devotion, a dark shadow clouded his mind, envy and constant comparison with other monks. Looking at his classmates, Hiroshi felt inadequate and inferior. He admired their apparent calm, their wisdom and their ability to reach states of deep meditation. And he wondered why, despite his efforts, he couldn't achieve the same inner peace and serenity. This constant comparison led him to doubt himself and feel frustrated and dissatisfied. And this made him feel trapped in a vicious circle of self-criticism and inadequacy, which took him further and further away from the serenity he so desired. One day during a meditation session, Hiroshi's frustration reached its peak. He couldn't concentrate, his mind was a whirlwind of negative and envious thoughts. Thus, he abandoned the meditation hall and took refuge in the monastery garden, seeking solace in the beauty of nature. While wandering among the centuries-old trees, Hiroshi came across an old monk sitting under a majestic cherry tree in bloom. The old monk, with his wrinkled face and his eyes shining with wisdom, exuded an aura of peace and serenity that Hiroshi had never encountered before. Gathering his courage, he approached and bowed respectfully. Master, he said with a trembling voice, I am tormented by doubts and insecurities. I can't find inner peace and constantly feel inferior to other monks. The old monk smiled benevolently and invited the young man to sit next to him. Hiroshi, my dear disciple, he began in a calm and reassuring voice. Your mind is like a lake stirred by the wind. Your thoughts are like waves crashing on the shore, creating chaos and confusion. The master explained to Hiroshi that comparison with others is a dangerous trap, which distances one from true happiness and serenity. Each individual is unique and unrepeatable, he said, like a flower that blooms in its own time and in its own way. Comparing yourself to others is like trying to make a lotus bloom in the desert or a cactus in a lake. Every living being has its own beauty and intrinsic value, and trying to be like someone else only leads to denying your own authenticity. To better understand what he was talking about, the master told Hiroshi the story of a young samurai 
who, obsessed with the desire to become the strongest warrior in Japan, trained day and night, challenging everyone he met. But despite his efforts, he could not achieve inner peace and happiness. One day, the young samurai met an old sword master who told him, true strength does not lie in victory over others, but in victory over oneself. Focus on your practice, cultivate your discipline and compassion, and true strength will emerge from within you. The young samurai followed his master's advice, and after years of practice and dedication, became an invincible warrior, not only for his skill with the sword, but above all for his inner strength and compassion. The master looked Hiroshi in the eyes and said, the same goes for you, my dear boy. Don't try to be like other monks. Focus on your spiritual path, cultivate your inner peace, and discover your true nature. Only then will you be able to find the happiness and serenity you seek. Only then will you become the best version of you. Hiroshi listened carefully to his master's words, feeling a sense of relief and hope grow within him. The elderly master, over the following days, taught him various meditation techniques. They concentrated on breathing meditation, walking meditation, and, finally, sound meditation. He explained to him the importance of living in the present moment, of observing one's thoughts and emotions without judgment, and of cultivating compassion towards oneself and others. Hiroshi, after learning all these lessons, returned to his daily life with a new spirit. He began to practice the meditation techniques taught to him by the master, dedicating several hours to the practice every day. He also began to observe his thoughts and emotions with greater awareness, noticing how his mind often got lost in unnecessary fantasies, worries, and judgments. And over time, he began to see the fruits of his practice. His mind became calmer and clearer, his emotions more balanced, and his heart more compassionate. He began to see the world with new eyes, appreciating the beauty of nature, the kindness of people, and the sacredness of every moment. One day, while meditating under a jinko tree, Hiroshi had a profound realization. He understood that his obsession with comparison with others had been the main cause of his unhappiness. He had tried to be someone he wasn't, instead of accepting and loving himself for who he was. From that moment on, he abandoned all comparison and competition. He focused on his spiritual practice, cultivating inner peace, compassion, and wisdom. His transformation was evident to all. His fellow monks began to see in him an example of serenity and wisdom, and many of them turned to him for advice and teachings. Hiroshi became a beloved and respected master and began to guide many disciples along the path of awareness. But what exactly had the master he met in the monastery gardens taught him? That silently focusing on oneself rather than on others leads to authentic happiness. Because true happiness comes from self-acceptance and the cultivation of one's own inner peace, not from comparison with others. We compare our lives to those of others, often idealizing their experiences and minimizing ours. And this leads us to feel inadequate and dissatisfied, distancing us from the authentic happiness that resides within us. By focusing on ourselves, however, we learn to appreciate what we have, cultivate our talents, and live a more fulfilling life. By focusing on ourselves, the Master continued, we realize our true potential. Only in this way can we discover our talents, our passions, and our mission in life realizing our full potential. Each of us has a unique and unrepeatable potential, but we often ignore or underestimate it, focusing on what others do. However, when we dedicate ourselves to our personal growth, we discover our hidden abilities and talents, and we can use them to make our dreams come true and achieve our goals. Achieving true inner peace is another result that we achieve only when we think of ourselves and not of others, continued the elderly and wise master. The practice of mindfulness and meditation helps us calm the mind, manage emotions, and find inner peace. 
Our mind is often a whirlwind of thoughts, worries, and judgments, which take us away from inner peace. Through meditation and mindfulness, we can learn to observe our thoughts and emotions without identifying with them, creating an inner space of calm and serenity. Another important point that the monk spoke to the young Hiroshi was that of authentic relationships. When we are at peace with ourselves, we can build more authentic and meaningful relationships with others, he explained. We often seek the approval and love of others, but this makes us dependent on their judgment and prevents us from building authentic relationships. When, however, we learn to love and accept ourselves for who we are, we can build relationships based on trust, respect, and reciprocity, he concluded. By stopping comparing ourselves to others, we free ourselves from the burden of judgment and can live a freer and more authentic life," continued the monk. The judgment of others can be a source of great suffering, but we are often our own harshest judges. However, when we learn to let go of judgment, both towards ourselves and towards others, we can live a freer and more authentic life, in line with our values and aspirations. Personal growth is another benefit of thinking about ourselves. By focusing on ourselves, we can learn from our mistakes, overcome our challenges, and grow as individuals, said the sage. Life is continuous learning, and every experience, positive or negative, can be an opportunity for growth. Furthermore, when we are happy and fulfilled, we can contribute more significantly to the well-being of others and the world around us, added the elderly monk. Our happiness and well-being are not ends in themselves, but can be a source of inspiration and help for others. When we are at peace with ourselves, we can share our joy and compassion with the world, helping to create a more harmonious and positive environment. And in fact, Hiroshi, only after having achieved inner peace, became a loved and respected master, a master capable of guiding many disciples along the path of awareness. But what does Hiroshi's story show us? That focusing on oneself is not a selfish act, but a fundamental step for our personal and spiritual growth. When we learn to love and accept ourselves for who we are, we can free ourselves from the chains of comparison and envy and discover the true happiness and serenity that reside within us. This story reminds us that the most important journey is the one we make within ourselves and with ourselves. When we learn to focus on ourselves, cultivate our inner peace, and live in the present moment, we can discover the true happiness and serenity that reside in our hearts.